let's cut some opal. Hello everyone, it's Robert from Global Prospecting. How is everyone doing today? Today we'll be cutting this Australian opal with a thin color bar and we're going to see if it's worth purchasing these opals that have a thin color bar. So we're going to get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take down some of the potch on this opal and then we'll go around the edges and see where our color bar stands. So is it worth buying these opals with the thin color bars? Uh, leave us a comment below and let us know your experience. So I can see a dark line, dark potch line going through this opal. Hopefully it doesn't uh, go all the way through the opal. doesn't look like this color bar goes all the way around the opal well, hopefully we get enough on there that we can uh, get a little stone out of it I'd like to thank all our subscribers for watching our channel and if you're new out there our channel is about cutting opal and that's all we do is we cut opal and hopefully you can learn something from it and if you're not subscribed please subscribe like and turn on notifications we put out videos once a week sometimes twice So I'm going to take off some of the sides here, see where our color bar lands. Doesn't seem to be going all the way through here. Nothing. That's getting there. All right, that looks good. I think it's uh, right there. I'm on the 220 wheel now and I'm taking down the potch on the top. Just make sure when you're using a wheel this strong that you don't go too fast and just use a lighter pressure because it takes away a lot of the stone quick. And when you get down and you can see color popping through, make sure that you jump to the, the next wheel. Looks like that black potch line is going to be in, in, in our opal. But once you get down and you can start seeing that color, you make sure you switch to the next wheel.
So this opal's got a nice dark base, and I think we're going to move on to the next wheel, which will be the 280 wheel, so we can save some of the color bar. You can see the colors starting to pop through here and make sure you're not putting too much pressure on the opal and keep checking it frequently. If anybody out there is looking for opal rough you can go to www.global-prospecting.com and you can find a wide range of opal rough on our site. A quick way to get to our opal videos is you can go to www.letscutopal.com. Here's a fun fact for everyone. The ancient Greeks believed opals gave the owners the gifts of prophecy and guarded them from disease. And there's a little opal fact for everyone. And I'd like to give a shout out to Ray and Tanya from Maine. Thanks for the comments. And we'd like to give a shout out to Van Goo. Appreciate the comment. And Biddy Kitty. Thanks for the comment. Looks like we're getting down to the color. Looks like it's popping through pretty good. I just want to see how that uh, it matches up with the potch and see if it's worth purchasing these thin bar opals. If you see the color bar on this opal, it looks a lot bigger on camera. Believe me, it's it's really thin. Probably a couple pieces of paper thick. Uh, let us know in the comments below how you fared with these thin barred Australian opals. Well, it's starting to look good, and I think I'm going to shape it up off camera and polish it up, and you'll see the finished product. So this is the completed opal. It has greens, blues, oranges, and this was the thin bar opal, and I don't know if it's worth it. It came out pretty good. Let us know what you think about it, and leave a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, and turn on notifications only if you want to. And thanks for watching.